Uh, hello, everyone. My name is uh, João Ferreira. I'm from Portugal, and I'm uh, an Office or Microsoft 365 Development MVP. And today I'm here to um, talk a bit about uh, an experiment that I did uh, a few weeks ago um, to show how to embed uh, Microsoft Teams chats um, in SharePoint pages. I've been thinking uh, in a solution similar to what um, LinkedIn has for quite some time. So um, if you are not familiar with LinkedIn, uh, there's this um, messaging um, option in, in LinkedIn where you can chat with people and quickly open um, chats and, and have conversations. And my idea was to do something similar to um, SharePoint, bringing Microsoft Teams to the context of SharePoint pages, modern SharePoint pages across uh, all modern um, sites. So if I was working in SharePoint in the browser, uh, I would be able to quickly access to the chats without the need to open um, the, the Teams client. The problem with this solution is that, that um, preventing to uh, implement is that it required a lot of work to implement something native. It would it would be basically reinvent uh, Microsoft Teams inside um, of SharePoint uh, with a SharePoint solution with uh, millions of calls to Microsoft Graph, and um, I never did it uh, because of that huge uh, work. A few weeks um, ago, or probably two months ago, I think this was around uh, Microsoft Build, I saw this um, announcement uh, where uh, external links uh, from uh, Microsoft Teams um, conversation would open in Microsoft Edge, if you are a Microsoft Edge um, user. If you are not, too bad, this feature doesn't work for you. Um, this would open the Teams conversation in the context of the link. So you would be able to read the page that someone shared with you, while at the same time, um, you would see the uh, conversation uh, right next to the page, and you would be able to quickly reply uh, or add relevant information um, to this. So I looked to this approach from Microsoft, officially supported everything that I was planning to uh, implement already built, and this was too good to be true. So um, I went um, to dig a bit more about it. I did a quick inspect, and I found that this is actually uh, a usable um, URL that you can get um, and display inside of um, SharePoint. So for those of you that were thinking that I did a huge um, implementation uh, of this solution, building everything manually, no, I didn't. I'm using what Microsoft has. Um, so um, this is uh, what is happening behind the scenes. So now to get this inside of SharePoint, uh, what I did was uh, created a SharePoint framework um, extension to uh, add Microsoft Teams to the footer of the page. So basically, the SharePoint framework extension uh, injects Microsoft Teams um, in all modern pages. This, uh, well, at least in my um, in my uh, tenant, I deployed it globally, and um, it adds that uh, component to the uh, bottom of the page. So, rather than seeing the PowerPoint slides, let me bring um, up here the um, browser and let me show you exactly what this is. So as you can see here at the bottom, exactly like um, LinkedIn has, there's this component that opens and closes and reveals the chat. Um, it works uh, quite well. I was impressed that it worked um, this well, um, but there are a few things uh, that we should take into consideration um, in this solution. Uh, one of them is that this link doesn't work. Uh, and um, it picks the Windows or the uh, Mac OS theme that you have on your uh, computer automatically. So I'm using the dark theme, so this displays um, in dark mode uh, automatically, and um, if I was using the um, normal theme, uh, this would be uh, white. So other than this, you can uh, have 
chat, uh, whatever you are inside uh, of SharePoint. This follows you along, uh, follows along with you um, throughout the modern SharePoint pages, and um, it actually opens uh, and closes uh, with a smooth animation like LinkedIn. This was the part that took me the most uh, to get done here. This is not yet a, um, a finalized solution. I don't um, have it uh, yet um, in the repo, so I still need to work a few things out here. But uh, let me just bring up uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, I think I have it with enough zoom so everyone can see it. Uh, basically, there's nothing, there's nothing uh, too crazy in here. Uh, what this is doing is basically creating the uh, bottom uh, placeholder in the application uh, customizer. And uh, I'm using uh, PNP um, just to get the um, user photo. So each user gets uh, its own profile picture, exactly like the one in LinkedIn. And then um, there's this um, React component that um, has the uh, iframe here. This is the part that does all the magic. Um, so this is the secret um, sauce uh, of this solution. Uh, all the other things is just the 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 uh, drawer to open and to um, close this out. So the solution it's in reality super simple, but I've I've been um, finding it a lot um, useful inside of Microsoft Teams. I've been um, using it in my own tenant, and uh, I've deployed it. Uh, in a few other tenants, uh, actually um, in, internally in the company as well, just to test and people is loving it and it works uh, quite well. The problem with it and the reason what for me to not have yet submitted it to the repo is that um, I need to work a few things around to make it uh, work. So uh, one of the limitations that I told you uh, already uh, is this open in Microsoft Teams. Um, if you click on it, uh, it doesn't do anything. Um, it throws a, an error in the console. Well, this is an iframe. There's not much that we can um, do uh, in here. Another thing is that uh, if you have been chats, sometimes they do not show up in here. Um, others, it does. But the main thing that uh, prevented me from submitting this to um, the repo uh, yet is what happens when you go uh, to a SharePoint page in Microsoft Teams. If this happens, then you will end up with Teams within Teams. And um, this is the part that I need to take care of still. Uh, I need to get the context of Teams from the extension. It's not that easy or um, Free to do like it is with web parts. Um, I, I was able yet to figure out a, a pretty solution to do it from the extension, and I don't want to load it, uh, or at least I want to create an option uh, for the extension to allow the extension to either uh, be loaded in Microsoft Teams if that's your goal, or uh, to prevent it to uh, load from within the site. So if you are already in Teams, uh, well, you can have the access to the chat here, but uh, there's no purpose on it because it's already here. Um, well, this is the reason, and this this is the only thing that um, I, I have to do. So I hope that in the next uh, few days, um, there's a new PR to get this uh, available so everyone can contribute and move this forward. Um, and this is pretty much um, how what it was done. It generated a lot of um, noise when I posted this um, on, on Twitter a few weeks ago, uh, but now you know the secret behind um, the solution and hope uh, you like and hope you, you will soon um, contribute to move it forward. All right, guys, back to you.